In the beginning came the heavens, the earth and the stars, separated by a vast darkness. Enter man. Part of man's evolution has been the ability to tell stories and to communicate his greatest adventures and warn his clansmen of apparent dangers. This need to communicate near and far led to using smoke signals to call for help that could reach great distances. Then came the next step in communicating over great distances, the telephone. It revolutionized the way we communicate and emergency calling systems evolved that could always locate you by your fixed landline. By 2050, about 70% of the world's populations will live in cities. Therefore, the cities of tomorrow must be smarter since infrastructure has to keep up with the growing demand. Not forgetting public safety as a key component for the future. A smart city is a safe city. Mobile 911 localization is the emergency industry's biggest challenge, with the majority of 911 calls being made from mobile phones. Even today, with our great achievements in communication, we are still not able to accurately locate a mobile 911 caller. With new business models like surveillance capitalism, localization data is being gathered about users through their mobile phones. All acquired data about you is sold to organizations seeking to learn more about their clients. As an example, GDPR has been put into place in Europe to stop this from happening. But due to unclear legislation, the process still continues. The patented Emergency Mobile Location Methodology, or EML, was created for the sole purpose of providing localization data to improve 911 services in a GDPR and Cloud Act friendly way. On November 27th, in Shista, the next step in the evolution of emergency communications took place. Eli Technology and Shista Science City launched the Shista 112 Development Initiative based on EML methodology. Together with their partners, demonstrated an end-to-end -end IP emergency calling system that has indoor localization capabilities as never before. EML methodology demonstrated the ability to provide a dispatchable address for 911 and even the ability to locate an emergency caller within a building. We did this without compromising GDPR by using the existing Wi-Fi network that today already covers all our cities. One may say, so what? Identifying the location of a person walking down some stairs is nothing miraculous. But let me enlighten you. If you are in need of an ambulance and can't inform them of your current location, things can go very wrong. SOS 112, what have you Okej, hur mår din mamma? Hon vill inte vakna. Hon vaknar inte. Okej, andas hon. Vänta. Mamma, mamma. Hon andas. Det är bra. Jag ska hjälpa dig. Vad heter du och hur gammal är du? Over 70% of all 112 calls to SOS Alarm are from mobile phones. Current levels of location accuracy make mobile 112 the industry's biggest problem. If the victim is unable to speak or does not know their location, today the emergency operator is only able to provide an estimated area in which the caller may be located. This requires the first responders to search the area for the victim. A major percentage of emergency calls come from urban areas. Existing methodologies provide an estimated area within which they think the caller is located. They can't differentiate between buildings and have no indoor cellular location capability. As with any emergency call, time is critical. Without precise location information, including indoor, critical time will be lost searching for the victim. Let's do this again, but this time let's use the Eli Emergency Mobile Location System. Our young heroine now calls 112 and as before cannot give the SOS operator her address. The ambulance is dispatched, but this time the emergency service personnel have the Eli system. 
Eli's Emergency Mobile Positioning System provides the precise verified location and an abundance of relevant information. As illustrated in the adjoining tag, the address, floor number, and the apartment number have been made available automatically. Additional information such as entrance code to the main door for the emergency responders can also be provided. With Eli's advanced and complete 112 mobile solution, response time can be improved dramatically to ensure positive 112 outcomes. Today, all cities, towns, and villages have end-to-end -end Wi Fi coverage. EML methodology uses existing Wi Fi as verified location data points to communicate where we are in the event 911 is called from a mobile phone. EML can also be used to locate other 911 useful tools, such as a defibrillator. Both can be on the move, and locating them can be a question of life or death. This works regardless of network provider or mobile phone. But how does it work? In short, we provide all Wi-Fi operators with a unique identifier or tag. Every access point in their network receives an individual, dynamic, secure tag that is registered to a verified civic address in the 911 database. In this example, the tag is SE1001. The fellow making the 911 call can't speak the language but is in need of assistance. His smartphone, like all smartphones, follows an international protocol for 911 calls that turns on all assistance functions like Wi Fi, Bluetooth, GPS and all other localization functions. When a 911 mobile phone call is made and the phone transmits the tag code to the EML engine, it in turn makes the address available to the SOS operator. Pretty simple actually. If you were to suffer an emergency and be in need of an ambulance, there are a lot of options like video calling, IP telephony, contact via Skype, social media, your mobile, and finally your landline. The only calling system that can be tracked and therefore works today is your landline. By 2030, all landline phones will no longer be in use. But with EML methodology in place, all these services could be used and located and thereby save lives. Additionally, EML location capabilities provide a platform for IoT and smart city services. Another important application that EML facilitates is the use of video in 911 calls, which is of paramount importance for the hearing impaired, where assistance in signing can be integrated directly into the 911 call. The combination is long overdue and exemplifies EML's advanced capabilities. Ironic, actually, since the combination was apparent in the birth of the telephone by teacher to the deaf Alexander Graham Bell with his wife Mabel, who was deaf from the age of five. This partnership has finally reached full fruition. EML's founder and Mr. Bell share roots in Bedeck, Nova Scotia, Canada. It only took 150 years to complete the circle for emergency communications for hearing and speech impaired citizens. Together with the Shista 112 Development and Demonstration Center, Eli Technology has created the EML methodology, which is network and device agnostic and is available from a multitude of suppliers, open and available for all to resolve our industry's greatest problem. The Shista 112 end-to-end -end IP development platform is a unique global initiative. At Shista 112, new products and services will be developed, tested, and exported to the world. This ensures that 911 maintains effectiveness with modern communication tools. The EML methodology in Shista 112 will provide a platform to make the smart city a safe city. Isn't that the essence of being smart?